good tidings YouTube, I am Tyrant here, and in this video we're going to be going over another exploration fit for beginners. This time we're going to be looking at the Galantes Imicus, and it's going to be a fit based for high security space. Straight off the bounce, I'd like to say this is probably one of the weirdest, if not the weirdest looking ship in the game. It's got very freaky deaky appearances. Just as well just look at it, it's a very odd shape to say the least. Right, anyway, in this video we're going to be covering the modules of the fit, the cost of the fit, and then a quick look at the ship in action. So let's start with modules. So starting with the rig slots. Here we're going to have two small gravity capacitor upgrades. Their job is to help with your scan strength bonus. They both offer a bonus of 10%. This is going to make a big difference when you're scanning down the sites. It's going to help you and make you much more efficient at scanning them down, improving your scan times. Then, we're going to have a core probe launcher and 8 scanner probes. These are essential, as without them you can't scan down the sites. The next two are optional extras and not essential to the fit. You're going to have a salvage one. This is there on the very off chance you do come across a wreck. This is very unlikely in high security space, but it's not unheard of. Next, we've got a prototype cloaking device. This again is not needed for the fit, but in my opinion it's nice to be able to cloak up when scanning down sites. It's not unheard of for gankers to take out exploration frigates because of the possibility of a high value loot they might often and will be carrying. Next up, we're going to have your, obviously your relic and data analyzers. These are there to actually hack the sites once you've found them. Obviously followed by a micro warp drive. This is there to increase your speed of actually running the sites once you've found them, as often there will be big distances between the hacks. This will let you cover the distances much more quickly, improving your site times. And again we're going to have a scan range finding array. This is to help again with your scan times. This is going to help with your scan strength bonus once again, making it, it's going to, mean, it's going to add to the, how easy it is to scan down the sites. In your low power slots, we're going to have three nanofiber internal structures. What these do is, they help with your velocity and interior modifier. This means you're going to be more agile and your ship's going to be faster, again helping with com site completion times. Also, with the agility bonus, it's going to mean you can align sites faster, increasing your warp speed times. In the essence that you're going to be aligned faster and warp sooner. You're also going to be carrying some drones. Again, these are needed but it's nice to have them in the emergency that you do need them. Here I've just used some acolytes because I had them available. So let's move on to the cost of this fit. The total cost with the extras is going to be quite pricey. It's going to come in at 2 million and 16,000 disc. This is going to be a lot for a new player. But without these, it's going to come in less than 1 million disc. It's going to come in at 871,000 disc, which should be very affordable even for new players. So, now that we've seen the fit, let's look at the shipping action and scan down a few sites. For this example, I'm going to be using a data site. Here, we've already, I've already scanned down the site and warped in. I'm running this at 1.5 times speed just to make it a little bit quicker going through it. So, if we zoom in on this first one, unlock the target and let's start the hack. So, obviously, the aim of the game here is just to find the system car. So, we just carry on going through these. All this hack's going through, it's a good chance to talk about some of the other things with this ship. Obviously the biggest advantage really what you're going to have on these sites is your micro warp drive. It's going to increase the time hugely when you're travelling between them. This site doesn't really prove it because they're all reasonably close together, but some of the other sites you're going to be travelling massive of distance up to like 20 kilometers plus. So it does make a big difference having a micro warp drive. And here you go, as you can see a nice loot to start with. This loot in itself was just paid for the fit of the ship. So you can see how easy it is going to be for newer players to earn money this way. Let's start the next one. Again, just looking for the system car. When I'm hacking, and you can't really see it with this one being sped up, but I do try and take a little bit longer than, so you can sort of, like there, you can see I've just missed the power up because I would click too quickly. If it had been clicking slower, I'd have been able to get that power up. Again, another nice loop. Again, paying for the fit. So let's move on to the next sack.
when we're going through this arc again, realistically all of the exploration frigates to each faction are pretty much going to be very useful for new players. They've all got little differences between them, which tend to be the fitting of them, because they're all going to have different slots and a couple of differences in attributes. But any of them are going to be more than adequate at being able to hack down these early sites. So realistically, you can do, depending on what faction you're on, you can just go for it and use your faction-specific frigate without any real difference to any of the others. So now that we've failed this one, it means we've got one more chance to try and complete the hack, because you always get two chances on data and relic sites. Obviously, if we fail at this time, this will explode, meaning we can't have the chance of getting the loot. There we go, the system car. The hack's completed. So, I will leave you with the rest of this video. This will be Nine Tyrant. Fly safe.